Blessings, blessings to you guys. The lesson. God bless you all. Yes. And we have something that we want to share with you guys. Yes. Donnie Swagger, our pastor, bishop, I don't know anymore. <laughs> the internet is hot and angry at this pastor because of he said some things to the black church. Let's watch it. Yeah, because a lot of people don't want to say it, and some people have to say it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be, from the statement I'm about to make, I'm going to be called a racist. And I will be called every name under the sun. But somebody needs to stand up and speak to the black church. When the largest Pentecostal, when the largest African-American Pentecostal denomination, when that leader stands up, and said, I endorse that woman. He was saying, I endorse murder. I endorse homosexuality. I endorse lesbianism. I endorse transgenderism. I endorse every evil that hell could prosper or bring up to the right. That's wrong, folks. And the black church votes predominantly for the party that is anti-God. What's going on here? What's going on? See, my statement to them is this. We, we, we've had them call into the program. Yes, I don't like it when you talk about it. Well, no, the problem is they don't like it because we're stepping on their toes. Hello? But I guarantee you. If 1860 was today, they wouldn't say a word about preachers preaching against slavery. They would trumpet it, and they should. So then, why will not the African American church stand up for righteousness and stand up for the Word of God? Come on, church! Come on, you can call me a racist, you can call me every name under the sun, but I am right. I come against you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't vote for somebody just because mama voted them or daddy voted for them, but you vote according to the Word of God. Come out from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord of hosts. If you are a Christian, start acting like a Christian. If you claim to be holy and righteous, start acting holy and start acting righteous. Now, I will be called a racist. I will be called every name under the sun because I get their emails. But I want to serve notice on the devil right now. I like what old Uncle Bud Robinson, the Nazarene evangelist, he said, As long as I got fist, I'm going to hit the devil. When I can't pick up my hands anymore, I'll use my feet and I'll kick the devil. And when I can't kick him and hit him anymore, I'll bite him. And when I don't have any teeth left, I'll gum the devil to death. I will not be silent. I will not shut up. This country is too great. This country is too important. This country was birthed by God. Mm -mm. All right, y'all. So mm -hmm. when I watched this video, I pondered to myself and I said to myself, self, was he right or was he wrong? And to be quite honest with you, he was 100% right. Yep. He was 100% right. And um, people will get mad. You know, I was um, looking up his name. And so he's all over social media and black people are already calling him racist and stuff, making videos against him. But I tell you, this is that the man was right. Okay. Before I, I got on this video, I said, well, let me, um, I already knew this though, but I said, let me, let me back check before I get on this video. So I looked and I searched and I tried to find a white pastor that was supporting Kamala Harris. I could not find one. I could not find one. Now, I can say this, is that a lot of them undercover 
will vote for Kamala Harris because the white uh, Christian church has never been Democrat, never. So if a pastor come out and say, a big pastor will come out and say, hey, I'm voting for Kamala Harris, all those people will leave the church, okay? So low key, a lot of people are gonna keep that secret. But when it comes to the black church, they're more, you know, dominant in that area of uh, I'm a, a, a Democrat and they preach, they preach it and, and who, who they're going to vote for and who they inviting into the church. You know, that they, is most mostly known and, and they uh, mostly getting invited. Um, uh, the Democrat Party is mostly getting invited into the, uh, the black churches. So it's just truth. And um but I hope he knows it's not all black churches. Yeah. That's the only yeah. thing that I want to correct him on. It's not yeah. all black churches. It's the ones that we notice the most, but majority of uh, church black churches are not going to vote that way. <laughs> we know that for a fact, but because I know a lot of uh, black pastors who's, who's not even, I've seen videos yeah. of black churches complaining, um, about Kamala Harris and they, they voice and say, um, they're going to vote for Trump, but it's just what, what he said also is that the, the ones that are popular yeah, the are one, the one who are supporting. Yeah. And so that's who we're going to pay attention to the most. Yeah. The yeah. one, the one, the, the mega churches, yes. the big churches like this, you know, cause that's the popular one. Mm -hmm. And all this 99% of popular, popular ones has been bought. Mm -hmm by this uh, elite, by these witches, whether you believe it or not. But that's the reality. Because call any mega church in America that Africans know about mm -hmm. that is not of uh, uh, Kamala. Right. You can't. It's very, yeah. So he's speaking calling these churches that are supposed to stand for righteousness yeah. that are supposed to stand for black people like where are you guys what is going on who has bought you it, paul says who has bewinched you because all this is all about bewinchment mm -hmm. yeah you know the witches bewinching people to become their members that's what is really going on in a lot of these black churches right they keep bewinching, bringing more people and keep bewinching them. So that makes them to side with this particular people and they will not voice out the reality. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says, when you know the truth, truth will set you free. Mm -hmm. When you really uh, are siding with this woman, that means you really openly telling God, I am 100% with this woman. Whether anything that she is believing in is against the word of God. I care less, God, about what you believe or what you have written in the Bible. I'm standing with this woman because there is no way you're going to be out here and saying, oh, oh, I, I, I'm supporting this woman, but I'm not in support of all this. But you still go in there to vote. What is that saying? You are in, you are 100% in agreement. Yeah. Yeah, with yeah. everything. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I want him to know that we now we're going to be watching you because now you if you're going to be so straightforward about this situation, be straightforward about other situations too. Yes. You know, because Joel Osteen need correction, Paula White need correction, Benny Hinn, he needs correction. I can go on and on. Yeah. They need correction as well. Yeah. So, it's 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 crazy that um we as black people always my my now my husband noticed it since he's been in America yeah. from he's from Nigeria he noticed that man they talk about black people a lot like everything is a black the yeah. black talk everything because yeah. you know it's like with the preacher kids yeah people want to focus on the preacher kids see yeah. what they gonna do yeah you know yeah but so let's be straightforward about everything. Um, that cause I, that's how I am. If I want to talk about a, a different race of people, yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. But I'm also correcting my own people too. Yeah. I, I think, a, I think a lot of people know this ministry with that. Yeah. We don't do Favoritism. this color. Or, no, 
if we see you scamming people or deceiving people or lying, you are on our show. Absolutely. Right away. And we're rebuking you with the word of God. Absolutely. So so that's how I feel. Like now I'm gonna be watching him. Like I, I wanna see if you straightforward on this side too. And are you straightforward on that side? Because you can't just be talking about this part because people are going to uh, look at you and say, Okay, well, you racist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. going to pinpoint on you on that. It would be hard for them to come to us and, and do that because we get on the, like my husband said, we get on to everybody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so I read some comment sections and I'm not going to read them here. I'm just going to just tell you what I read. Now, this is my, not my opinion. This is what people have wrote. Okay. Some people were saying that he should have preached it without using the black church. He could have said all of that without saying the black yeah, church. Yeah, so that's yeah. what one comment was saying. Yeah. And the other comment that's right there is error. Yeah. hundred percent error. That's true. Know? That's true. That's yeah. true. Cause we have some undercover people of all races yeah. that are still voting for Kamala Harris. Yeah. Yeah. So he should have said, he shouldn't have said the black church. Yeah. yeah. He should have just said church period. Yeah. He should have. Yeah. That's, that's just the truth. He should have. Yeah. yeah. So, um, another thing somebody said is like, um, a lot of church, he should have fuck if he want to preach yeah. like that, he needs yeah. to focus on, uh, fornication in the church, yeah. adultery, yeah. all of that. And they was, he was like, you know, focus on some, uh, focus on that topic. Let's talk about yeah. that. Still because a lot of pastors are fornicating. Yeah. A lot of pastors are, uh, down low. Yeah. A lot of pastors are stealing and scheming in the church. And he was saying, what about those people? You know, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We need to hear more. Yeah. If you want to be straightforward in, you know, in that area, be straightforward in all areas. And let me see. Let me read some more comments through my phone because some of them I can't remember. Somebody says, stop preaching politics and preach God's word. That's all we ask. The pulpit isn't a place for your personal politic views. It's a place for the word of God. Now, how do you feel about that? <laughs> uh, this is when I see comment like this, I call those people. I'm sorry, but the reality is stupid, ignorant. Yeah. Because when you in the altar, you preach everything, whether whether satanic, whether uh, 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 righteousness, whether uh, China, whether you preach the word of God, because the word of the word of God is for everybody. So it, it, when I see comment like this, why are you in politics? God is not in politics. You are baby Christian. Yeah, they're period. not reading the Bible, though. They're not reading the Bible at all. Some people, they're like, no, yeah. the word of God is the, for the word. So anything that is in this word has to be preached. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. was a dumb God, Christian. God, that was a dumb comment. God rebuked Pharaoh through speaking through Moses. God anointed King David with through a prophet. God rebuked King Nebuchadnezzar. Now I can go on and on if you want me to. Ugh. These are all kings we're talking about, you know. So it, it, God is in it more than you think. He's more. He's in it more than anything. To be honest with you, if you yeah. read the Bible, yeah. Um, somebody said, Jamal Bryant is not the spokesman for the black church. He may be black pastor, a black church, but in no way are his views, the same views I have address him, but leave me all the way out of it. Hmm. Jamal, we don't need to talk about Jamal cause he's not a pastor. Go to another comment. <laughs> well, I want to talk about it. She's right though. I, I agree with this comment here. Um, because Jamal Bryant is, you know, he is like, really heavily supporting Kamala Harris and he had, you know, she's been in his church or whatever. So it is, is looking as if like, okay, well, Jamal Bryant, he black, the church is black. All black people are supporting Kamala Harris. You know what I'm saying? And so no, you know, people do need to be a little bit more mature in that. Cause we already cleared that, you know, the people that I know who have a church that are black, and the black people that I hang around with are not in support of Kamala Harris. So that, that's ne that's not necessarily factual, but then it is kind of because uh, yeah. black people are just so known for to be Democrats, though. Even that's, I know uh, that. But I was raised Republican. My mom is Republican. My dad, he I think he's Democrat. 
I don't understand him sometimes, but my mom, I was raised Republican as a black woman, Christian home. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, Jamal Brown is not a pastor. No, he's not. He's not. He's not wrong on what he is saying about what they are endorsing, but I think he should have talked about the church instead of saying the black church, because not all black churches agree with Kamala Harris. Yeah. Yeah. We already said said that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Unpopular opinion. He's not wrong. Now these are all black people comments. Y'all. So Um, unpopular opinion. He's not wrong. She's lit. She literally stands for non-Christian principles. I'm not saying Trump is a saint either. So that's just the truth. No, none of us are saying that Trump is a saint. Yeah. We all know that. Yeah. You know, but Kamala Harris, her principles are not Christian. Like he's more, he he, he got more uh, values, uh, Christian values than. Somebody Kamala. don't even know what color she is in. <laughs> like, how is she going to. I know, I know. And mm. some other people was so. Um, comments were kind of like, you know, too going too far. So I didn't want to uh, read that, but uh, yeah. So I want to hear your thoughts about it. Yes. Just be open. You know, I want you to, you know, whatever you uh, feel like you want to say in a comment, go ahead and say it because everybody has different opinions. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So uh, me, why right here? I'm over here like I don't know. I, I think he telling the truth, but I'm over here like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> As Af- as African that I am, he's telling the truth. Yeah. He don't need to, like, put that title, black church. He just need to speak in general. Yeah, he and that, that that should be it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye, y'all.